Back in early November, I saw a video in my recommended from a YouTuber named Chadtronic in which he opened a bag of assorted Starbursts and they were all pink. In a follow-up video, he went to Twitter, found that dozens, if not hundreds, or even thousands had a similar issue. The Starburst Twitter account acted oblivious to this, simply noting that anyone who addressed them about this issue simply had good luck. Seeing this, like many things I hear about nowadays, simultaneously gave me a sensible chuckle, but also made me feel vaguely sick to my stomach. The truth was obvious. There was just no way this many people had had all pink Starbursts simply by chance. Many people started to rise up in the face of this debacle, and briefly the hashtag Starburst Equality started picking up momentum. But eventually the hype died down, the hashtag got used less frequently, and life went on. Two months and some change went by. I drew a few pictures, scribbled them up and threw them away, started watching JoJo, continued working at that amusement park, turned 18, applied for a couple of colleges, got a new jacket, got accepted to a couple of colleges, got in a few internet arguments, and lots of fun and boring things in between. The point is, I suppose, that I didn't really think about those two videos very much after the day I first saw them. Then on Sunday, January 26th, 2020, I got my hands on a few of those little double packs of Starbursts. As I eagerly opened them up, my mouth started watering, ready for the colorful burst of artificial fruit flavors to hit my tongue, taking me back to the days of getting the right answers in Sunday school. When I opened the wrapper, I was taken back somewhere, but not to that place of childlike wonder, but instead to my room just 40 or 50 days ago, where I had a smirk on my mouth and a dimly disgusting feeling in my stomach. Both the Starbursts were pink. With the distinct memory of the way Chad Tronic pronounced pink with emphasis, pink, 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 I opened the other pack, also both pink. I then turned over to my cousin, Quick Start 24, pretending to have the psychic ability to predict exactly what color would be inside the final pack, and surprise, surprise, they were both pink. <laughs> I explained Chadtronic's video to him, and in hearing my own voice get louder and louder and more angry at whatever dishonest, revolting, and frankly perplexing force that was preventing me from getting the full spectrum of the unexplainably juicy nature of Starburst, I realized something. I definitely wasn't this upset when I first saw the video. I guess now it had become personal. So, the next day, I began working on the script to my next video, determined to get to the bottom of this. So the first thing I did was a search for all articles about all pink starbursts. As I scrolled through, I only found a couple of articles that interested me. There was an article titled, Starburst Gives the World What They Had Been Asking For With All Pink Packs. What the world has been asking for? This caught my eye. Apparently, people had been begging on social media for all pink packs of Starburst, according to the article. So they gave them to them. I wasn't sure if they were relevant to the search, but I kept them just in case. Immediately fans showered the company in love for this. They were raving. Now, seeing this doesn't make me upset. A bag that advertises all pink starbursts better dang well have all pink starbursts. The problem arises when you have a bag that advertises assorted starbursts when it has all pink. I was ranting about this during intermediate algebra once, and one of my classmates just said, So, all pink starbursts are the best kind. I tried to show him that starburst was even mocking mocking us candy justice warriors on twitter the next thing you know we'll have some kind of pink starburst pepe being used as the new mascot honestly the days are starting to grow dark for those who want to see all colors of their favorite candy represented equally unsatisfied with the research i could conduct by myself i decided to take the problem to the source so marvin's incorporated the company behind starburst has a page on their site with all the contact information we can use to complain about their candy companies. So I used the complaint email thing to ask why all the Starbursts were pink and subtly threatened to get the media involved if it was going to come to that. All I got in response was this thoughtless piece of drivel. I 
Dear Smizzle, thank you for your email regarding Starburst. For further assistance, please reach out to our media line at this number, I don't feel like reading out loud. We hope this information is helpful, and we wish you a great day. Your friends at Mars Wrigley Confectionery. How dare they? They have the audacity to call me a friend? Friend? I almost threw my phone across the room in rage, but then I saw something else. Their number. I could only see one thing I had to do. Call them. You have reached the Mars Incorporated Media Line. Members of the media, please leave your name, contact information, product you are calling about, and your deadline. We will return your call in a timely manner. Please note that this line is dedicated to media inquiries only. Consumers, marketing inquiries, or requests for sponsorships should be directed to telephone mm. numbers listed on our products. Thank you. When I heard the recorded message, I realized something. They were probably only going to take calls from news organizations. And even if I did leave a message, they'd probably never call back. They were low-key trying to say, come at me, bitch, because they knew I wasn't going to do shit. I'm just a text emoticon with not even 500 people who consistently want to hear what I'm saying. Until I figure out another way to get to the bottom of this, this video is going to have to go on hold. Over a month after I wrote what you just heard, a colleague of mine that I know in real life who simply goes by Lemon has a pretty solid theory as to why the Starbursts have all been pink. The way the theory goes is that they messed up a few of their other batches of flavors, and that pink was the only food safe flavor at the moment. Also, at the same time as people have been receiving all pink starbursts, packages intended to have all pink starbursts were on the shelves. This must mean that they either took some from the all pink supply, or because they only had all pinks, they just went screw it, and brought out all pink packages, but for some reason, they still packaged and sold some of them as assorted. Lemon also says that they could be trying to see if people would rather buy Starbursts by color than by chance. There doesn't seem to be much evidence to support this, but we do know that there have been people petitioning for all pink Starbursts since 2012. In 2017, a Starburst spokesperson said that pink was the most popular flavor. 2017 was the year the limited edition all pink packs were released. Lemon says that perhaps they wanted to bring back the all pinks. Lemon also proposed that the factory mistake might not have been with the flavors, but with the packaging. That would make some sense, seeing as some Twitter users have reported finding one or two Starbursts of other colors. And the pink packages say that there's a 25% chance of finding a Starburst of another color. The all pink Starburst of 2017 gained an excellent amount of attention. A spokesperson revealed that over half the references to Starbursts in social media were about the pinks. Lemon then posts a screenshot of Starburst's stonks, in which you can see a pretty dramatic rise when the all pinks were introduced. In 2018, they brought the segregated pinks only packs back, and this time it had merchandise that wasn't necessarily meant to be eaten, such as t-shirts. Lemon figures that in 2019, which is when the conspiracy really started, they wanted to bring their most successful campaign back, but because of one fuck up or another, they had secured the existence for their candy in a future for pink children. But I have another theory. What if there was a certain characteristic about the pinks that no other flavor had? What if this certain characteristic was the reason, the cause, for everyone preferring the pinks. My theory is that the pinks have mind control characteristics and that Mars may have used this to make the minds of the masses malleable. Oh, and would you look at this. Starburst announces free software to accelerate COVID-19 data discovery and analytics. See, now they're trying to do the thing companies and celebrities do, where they try to get people f to forget about a conspiracy or something by doing some kind of good deed about something topical. Now, you may be asking, where does this evidence of mind control stuff come from? 
To be honest, I don't think anyone's ever going to wake up to this conspiracy. I honestly feel like I'm one of the only people in the entire world who knows or even cares about this. I don't even think Chad Tronic cares that much. We might never get a solid answer to this, unless maybe some kind of professional journalist sees this video and decides to talk to Mars Incorporated about this. And that'll probably never happen. Unless... Maybe if you shared this video to as many people as possible, then perhaps it will eventually find its way to the right person with the right credibility, and I can finally be able to close the book on this thing.